breaking news my wonderful people no be smoking they happen for the country as nigerian high court sentences inspector general police usman baba to three months in prison for contempt hello guys welcome back to prospect channel tv if you're joining us for the first time kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you all for always coming out here may god bless you all let's quickly hit the news to get full details Usman Baba, the Inspector General of Police, has been sentenced to three months in jail by the Federal High Court in Abuja for defying a court order. This was stated by the presiding judge Mobolaji Olujinwon in a decision on Tuesday in a suit filed by Patrick Okoil, a former police officer who claims he was unlawfully and compulsively retired from the Nigerian police force. Justice M. O. Olujiwon ruled that the IGP should be committed to prison and held in custody for three months or until he obeys an order issued by the court since October 21, 2011. If at the end of the three months the commentor remains headstrong and still refuses to pledge his contempt, he shall be committed for another period and until he pledges his contempt, the court held. The IGP's Committal followed a suit that was filed by a police officer, Mr. Patrick Okoye, who was unlawfully and compulsorily retired from the Nigerian police force. Justice Olajin Won noted that though the Police Service Commission recommended Okoye's instatement into the police, a decision that was affirmed by the courts, the IGP refused to compel with the order. The court has also ordered the payment of 10 million to the applicant, being special and general damages for the unlawful, illegal, and unconstitutional denial of his rights and privileges as a senior officer of the Nigerian police force from, no from 1993 till date. My wonderful people, the Nigerian High Court sentences Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to three months in prison for contempt hmm in this country wow this man uh the inspector general of police have been sentenced to three months in jail by the federal high court in abuja for defying a court order this was stated by the presiding judge mobolaji in a decision on tuesday in a suit filed by one patrick okoye a former police officer who claims he was unlawfully retired from the Nigerian police force. So the court had ordered that if at the end of the three months, the commentor remains headstrong and still refuses to pledge his contempt, he shall be committed for another period until he pledges his contempt. The court held, my wonderful people, the court had also ordered the payment of uh, 10 million to the applicants being special and general damages for the unlawful, illegal, and the unconstitutional denial of his rights and privileges as a senior officer of the Nigerian police force from 1993 till date, my wonderful people. Hmm. Let us watch out and see what decision the Nigerian High Court is going to, you know, take after the three months have uh, elapsed, my wonderful people, let us watch out. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. There are no laws in Nigeria. What we have, Nigeria, are people practicing law. The same should be replicated to Malami for refusing to obey court order and release Mazin Nandikano. A good start by the judiciary signifying separation of powers and none is above the law. Hmm. Make a year say he obey him. Tomorrow the court will tell us that there was a mistake. Too much joke in this country. Hmm. All this is just a joke. We know he will never smell prison. The same thing happened to EFCC chairman and the next minute he ran to another court to vacate the order. Hmm. Malami should be arrested immediately and thrown inside prison for, refuse, for refusing to release Mazin Nandikano unconditionally. 
We will get there. I am confident of the new judge. He is another hope of a new Nigeria. The judiciary must be separated from the executive. My people, no government officials in Nigeria obey court order other than the, the judge or the court are wasting their time. This is a joke of all time. So what now happens if he refuses or resists the arrest? Story for the gods. Same Nigerian court that refused to obey Mazikano after court has discharged him. Hmm. We all know that the law doesn't exist in Nigeria. Make with a watch if IGP no day above the law. This my country now cruise. So who wants to arrest him now? Where is the EFCC chairman that is supposed to be in Kuji prison? Hmm. Share the judge the why not me. My wonderful people, the government does not obey court order. So forget it. Integrity, my ass. We expect another pronouncement from the judge within 24 hours. We know Nigerian judges, my wonderful people. These are reactions from Nigerians. Nigerians have, you know, given their thoughts concerning this issue. Now, the Inspector General of Police have been, you know, given three months to uh, stick with the, what the court had ordered. If not, he will be uh, committed to prison for, for contempt. My wonderful people. The Nigerian High Court sentence Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to three months in prison for contempt. How true is that? And do you think that these people are going to hold on to the end of their bargain by trying to ins uh, sentence the Inspector General of Police to, uh, to, to, to prison, my wonderful people? It was stated by the presiding judge in a decision on Tuesday filed by a, a Patrick Okoye, a former police officer who claims he was unlawfully retired from the Nigerian police force by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba. And now the Nigerian court have called him, telling him that they give him three months if he is not, you know, if he don't comply if he refuses to comply with the order of the court, the court has also ordered that the payment of 10 million naira be paid to the applicant for being a special uh, general damages for the unlawful and illegal and unconstitutional denial of his rights and privileges as a senior officer of the Nigerian police force from 1993 to date. My wonderful people. So do you think that the courts will actually make do with what, you know, they have stated. So guys, what's your take? Come